We're never going to stop exploring the unknown in air and space. We're not going to stop innovating for the benefit of humanity. Scientists are scouring the exoplanet Proxima b, located just 4.2 light years away from Earth, with the help of the extremely powerful James Webb Space Telescope, in search of artificial light that could indicate the presence of life. These glimmers of light may prove to be the conclusive proof that intelligent life from beyond our solar system exists. The vast number of planets in the universe, over a quadrillion in our own galaxy alone, greatly increases the odds that extraterrestrial life exists. Come along as we examine the recent discovery of life signs on Proxima b by the James Webb Telescope. There are at least eight planets like Earth that orbit the star Proxima Centauri. This makes it a very tempting place to look for extraterrestrial life in the future. The bright red dwarf star is also one of the brightest stars in the sky, which makes it a good place to start when studying stars. But it has been hard to learn more about Proxima Centauri because it is so faint and because it is just beyond the main line of stars in the Orion arm of our Milky Way galaxy. Recent results from the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, or ALMA, telescope show that natural sources like dust clouds, carbon dioxide emission from the H2O ice, sodium D-lines from silicate minerals, and hydrogen atoms from nitrogen oxides are artificially filtering light from the nearest star. This discovery helps us learn more about how artificial lighting might be used by civilizations on Earth, either to make things more visible or to hide places they don't want other people to know about. Our recent look at the possibility of the techno signatures at Alpha Centauri is now supplemented with a new study on the detectability of artificial lights on Proxima Centauri b. The planet is in the habitable zone and has about the same mass as Earth. It also orbits the nearest star, which means we can learn a lot more about it as new tools become available. One of these is the James Webb Space Telescope but the new research also points to Louvoir, a space-based observatory that could be launched in 2035 and has many different kinds of sensors. Authors Elisa Tabor from Stanford University and Avi Loeb from Harvard point out that a likely tidally locked planet with a permanent night side would need artificial lighting to support a technological culture. On the other hand, artifacts from a civilization that grew somewhere else could be found on words that civilization chose to study. We learn by asking questions and looking at data, in this case, figuring out how we could find artificial light on Proxima b requires taking into account the planet's size, which is about 1.3 Earths, as well as the size of Proxima Centauri, which is 0.14 times the size of the Sun. We also know that the planet goes around the Sun every 11 days at 0.05 astronomical units. Other things that would affect its light curve would be its albedo and the tilt of its orbit. Tabor and Loeb use recent work on the tilt of Proxima Centauri c to get a rough idea of the inner world's orbital tilt. The next question is whether or not soon-to-be-flown technology like the James Webb Space Telescope could find artificial lights at Proxima b if they were there. In this paper, the authors explain how they calculated the light curves using two different scenarios. Artificial lighting with the same spectrum as LEDs on Earth and artificial lighting with a narrower spectrum that gives off the same amount of light as all the artificial lighting on Earth. For the calculations, the Exoplanet Analytic Reflected Light Curve, or EARL, open source software source code is used, and the JWST Exposure Time Calculator, or ETC, is used to estimate how likely it is that the planet can be found. Loeb and Tabor found that JWST could find LED lighting, making up 5% of stellar power, with 85% certainty. This means that it could find 5% of the power that the planet would get from Proxima Centauri at its orbital distance. That would mean that our space telescope could find LEDs that are 500 times brighter than anything on Earth. The spectral band would have to be 103 times narrower to be able to see the current level of artificial lighting on Earth, such as LEDs but not just those. In either case, the authors continue, JWST will help us figure out what kind of artificial light is being used. All of this calls for the near-infrared spectrograph on JWST to work at its best. Much depends on the ways that people at Proxima b might live. From the paper, 
Now let's talk in more depth about exoplanets and the possibility of life beyond Earth. Extrasolar planets or exoplanets are planets that orbit stars other than our Sun. They could be the best place to look for new forms of life because they have conditions similar to those on Earth. Since the first one was found about 20 years ago, more than 3,500 exoplanets have been found and named. Proxima b is the name given to it. Proxima b is different from other exoplanets because it might be close enough for humans to visit with their first interstellar spaceship. Many exoplanets have been found, and many more will be found, said Guillermo Angolara Esquere of Queen Mary University of London, who led the team that made the discovery. But looking for the closest possible Earth-like planet and finding it has been the experience of a lifetime for all of us. Christoph Lovis of the University of Geneva explained the importance of the discovery. This is a landmark discovery that suddenly makes the big question of life in the universe much more concrete. Now that we have a real, nearby example of a world that might be able to support life, people will start to think about how we could explore it more. The team first thought there was a planet orbiting the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri because of changes in the star's light, caused by a planet's pull on it. When measurements began in 2000 at the European Southern Observatory in Chile, they showed a small but regular change in the color of the star's light, from blue to red, as the star moved away from an observer on Earth. This made scientists wonder what was causing the change to happen so often. Astronomers then had to figure out if the signal really came from a planet in orbit or from something else like a star's flare. The researchers did follow-up observations every night for 20 minutes from January 19th to March 31st of this year. These observations proved that the exoplanet exists. Scientists don't know if anything is living on Proxima b yet, but it is at least 1.3 times as big as Earth and has a temperature that would allow liquid water to exist on its surface. Even though Proxima b is made of rocks like Earth, radiation from the red dwarf star it orbits could mean that it has a very different climate or has lost all of its atmosphere. The planet is tidally locked, just like our moon. This means that its orbital period is the same as its rotational period, so one side of it is always in the dark. For example, it takes the moon 28 days to go around the Earth and 28 days to turn once on its own axis. This means that the same side of the moon is always facing Earth. After many years of looking into the far reaches of space, the discovery will likely lead to a deeper look at our newest and closest neighbor to learn more about how Earth formed or if Proxima b could be a safe place for people to live if we destroy our own little blue dot. But even the exoplanet that is closest to Earth is hard to get to. Stephen Hawking, a scientist, and Yuri Milner, an entrepreneur, announced Breakthrough Starshot in April. This is an engineering project to build fleets of small, laser-powered interstellar spacecraft over the next few decades. If they traveled at 20% the speed of light, it would take them about 20 years to get to Proxima b. But even if we reach this technological peak, Proxima b could be very different by the time we get there, if it's still there at all. It's been 4.3 years since we last saw it. A new era in exoplanet research. The Webb telescope, which is very sensitive, was sent into its current orbit on Christmas Day 2021. It is 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. Webb can learn more about the beginning of time and the first galaxies by looking at the universe with longer wavelengths of light than other space telescopes. It can also look inside dust clouds where stars and planetary systems are still forming. The research saw a small hill between 4.1 and 4.6 microns in the spectrum of the planet's atmosphere. This was a clear signal of carbon dioxide, said team leader Natalie Batalha, a professor of astronomy and astrophysics at the University of California at Santa Cruz. Depending on the composition, thickness, and cloudiness of the atmosphere, it absorbs some colors of light more than others, making the planet look bigger, said Munaza Alam, a postdoctoral fellow in the Earth and Planets Laboratory at the Carnegie Institution for Science. We can look at these tiny differences in the size of the planet to find out what chemicals are in the air. Access to this part of the light spectrum is made possible by the Webb telescope. This is important for measuring the amounts of gases like methane, water, and carbon dioxide, which NASA says are likely to be present on many exoplanets. Because different gases absorb different combinations of colors, NASA says that researchers can look at small differences in the brightness of the light that gets through across a spectrum of wavelengths to figure out exactly what is in an atmosphere. 
Before NASA's Hubble and Spitzer telescopes found that the atmosphere of the planet has water vapor, sodium, and potassium, when Hubble and Spitzer looked at this planet before, they gave us hints that carbon dioxide might be there, Atalha said. The JWST data showed a clear carbon dioxide feature that stood out so much that it was almost shouting at us. As soon as the data appeared on my screen, the whopping carbon dioxide feature grabbed me. Said team member Zafar Rostamkolov, a graduate student in the Morton K. Blaustein Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences at John Hopkins University. In a news release, it was a special moment, crossing an important threshold in exoplanet sciences, he added. Discovered in 2011, WASP-39b's mass is about the same as Saturn's and roughly a fourth of Jupiter's, while its diameter is 1.3 times greater than Jupiter's. Since the exoplanet is so close to its star, it takes just over four Earth days to make a full circle. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your views about this shocking discovery made by James Webb related to Proxima b? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here, which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.